Today we're going to take a look at and also show you how to install the Atronix right side fender clearance trailer light, part number BA44FNR. For the left or driver's side, you'll want to use part number BA44FNL. Now this fender light from Atronix is pretty much the standard that you're going to see on a lot of trailers out there. It's going to offer two separate lights attached to the base that then attaches to the trailer. Now these are incandescent bulbs on the front and on the rear. We're going to want yellow in the front, red in the rear. Now something offered in this light that we don't see on a lot of the other fender lights are the reflectorized lenses. This is going to be DOT compliant and eliminates the need for an additional reflector. Also when your trailer is parked somewhere where it's dark as you're pulling up to it, these are going to shine with your headlights so you'll be able to identify where it's at. Now overall our light's going to be eight and a half inches long. It's going to be three and a quarter inches wide and it'll stick up off of your fender by about two and a quarter inches. When you're going with incandescence like this, if you're using it as a replacement, this is going to be a really good match. If you're just putting lights on a new trailer, if you want to add some additional visibility, you might want to consider one of the LEDs for lower maintenance. Now to get your light installed, we've got kind of preset connections here. It makes it pretty easy. We're going to have our two power wires. That needs to go to our running light signal, which we have here on our trailer. And then we've got our two grounds. Those already have a ring terminal on them. We're going to use a screw to ground that right to the fender of the trailer. If you have a two wire setup, meaning you have a power and also a ground wire coming off, you can take the ring terminal off, strip these back, and then just attach those to that butt connector to make that connection. So it'll kind of work both ways. We're going to strip back our running light wire here, and we're going to twist it and fold it over. That yellow butt connector is designed for a little bit larger gauge wire. So by doing that, we're going to give it something to hold on to. We'll get it crimped down. And now for our ground wire, just going to use a quarter inch self-tapping screw. All right, got that installed. You want to tuck your wires. You can see the slots here. Get those tucked right in there so we can keep them nice and hidden. And since our light doesn't come with any hardware, you'll want to reuse what you had on your trailer or provide your own. Now to test it out, you can simply hook up to your towing vehicle, turn on the running lights. Here you can see it looks like everything's working properly. And that's going to complete our look at the Optronics Fender Clearance Trailer Light, part number BA44FNR.